square numbers. So let's take any one of the number. It's two, and if it is multiplied with the same number by two, we have taken a number two and multiplied with the same number by two. Two into two. We are getting the result as four. And this 4 is called as square number of 2. 4 is called as the square number of 2. So, for example, if we take any other number, 3, and this is multiplying with the same number, uh, we are getting the result 9. And 9 is called as the square number. 9 is the square of the number 3. So, we multiply the two numbers and we are getting the result. And the resultant part is called as square of the given number. So, if we take, we have taken any variable, the place of a number, let's take a variable small a into a, then we know that when two numbers are multiplied, then we will be getting a into a, a to the power of 2. So a square is the square of small a. So we understood these are the squares of a numbers of 2 and 3 and a. Two, the square of 2 is 2 into 2, 4 and the square of 3 is nothing but 9, 3 into 3, 9. And the square of small a is a into a, a square. So now we understood that we have taken place any number and multiplied with the same number and the resultant part is called as the square of the taken number what we have taken the number. So now let's discuss about the sum of the square numbers that are 1 into 1 is 1 and 2 into 2 is 4 3 into 3 is 9, 4 fours, 16, and 25, 36, 49, and 64, 81, and 10 into 10, 100. These are, these are the squares up to 100. And we have taken a number and multiplied the same number starting with the natural number. That are all the squares we got here that are 1, 4, 9, 6, 25, 36, 49, and 64, 81, and 100 are the sum of the squares. Let's find out other squares that are. 121 324 361 and 400 these are the squares square numbers up to 400 when we multiply by 20 into 20 we got the 400 and the numbers from the starting let's find out here these are the square numbers 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, and 100. And this row. One twenty one, one forty four, one sixty nine, one ninety six, two hundred twenty five, two hundred fifty six, and two hundred eighty nine, three hundred twenty four, three hundred sixty one, and four hundred. These are the squares. Sum of the squares up to twenty. So. 
Let's find out the properties of the square numbers. 1 to 30 are 441, 441, 484, 529, 576, 625, and 676, 729, 784, 841, and 900. These are the squares from 21 to 30. From starting 1 to 30, the square numbers we have found. And these are the basic things we need to learn in 8th standard. Here we found the square numbers from 1 to 30. And this we can observe that the unit spaces of these square numbers are 1, 4, 9, 6, 5, 6, 9, 4, 1, 0. The same numbers are repeating. And let's find here from 11 to 20 or also the same numbers 1, 4, 9, 6, 5, 6. 9410, 1496569410, 1496569410. The same numbers are repeating here. Let's see that. What are the numbers are repeating? The square numbers that are 0, 1, 4, 5, 6, 9. And that's all. The numbers are repeating here. 0, we have taken from 0, 1, 4, 5, 6, and 9. 0, 1, 4, 5, 6, 9. The numbers are repeating in all the square numbers. And uh, if you take from 31 to 40 and 41 to 50, also we get the same numbers as it is. So here, we got here, the unit places of the square numbers are ending with 0, and uh, 1, 4, 5, 6 and 9 and then, then we are finding the square numbers from 30 to 40, 40 to 50 and 50 to 60 and we will be getting the same units places like 1, 4, 9, 6, 5, 6, 9, 4, 1, 0 and then what we can understand from this if we multiply any number, any square number that is going to end with 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 and 9 only Except these numbers, the square numbers are does not with and with any number. So here we got all the square numbers. All the square numbers are ending with the digits 0, 1, 4, 5, 6, 9. So it will not end with 2378 if it is ending with the numbers if it is ending with the digits of 2378 then that is not a perfect number if it is ending with 0 and 4 0 1 4 5 6 and 9 it may be a square number so we can find out one more thing if it is ending with the 1 if it is a square number is ending with if a number is ending with 0, 1, 4, 5, 6, 9 it may be a square number or may not be a square number or if it is ending with 2, 3, 7, 8 it will not be a square number if a number is ending with the digit 2, 3, 7, 8 it is not a square number but the square, if a number is ending with the digit 1, 4, 5, 6, 9 is is it may be a square number or may not be a square number if you have taken a number and multiplied the same number and we get a result and this resultant part is called as a square number for example 5 into 5 is equal to 25 and 25 is called as the square of a 5 this is the square of the number 5 so we take another example, 6 into 6 is equal to 36. 36 is called as a square number. This is a square number for the number of 6. So here we got 25 and 36 are the perfect square, perfect squares because so we multiply the same numbers and we are getting the result. That is a perfect square. Let's take any other number. For example, 24. And let's try to multiply the same two same numbers and to get the 24 
4 into 4, let's take and 4 into 4 is not equal to 6, 24 so this is not equal to 24 and let's take 3 into 3 and this is 3 into 3 is 9 it's not equal to 24 and uh, let's take next number 5 into 5 is 25 it is also not equal to 24 now what we understood is it's not between the number 9 and here they got 16 and here 25 and 24 is between 65 and 24 and we take the below number also it is not equal 46 let's take any one of the number it is to this one that is when we multiply 6 into 6 here we can understand 6 into 6 is not equal to 46 because it is equal to 36 it's not equal to 36 so let's take some other number 7 into 7 is 49 but it is not equal to 46 so but here 46 is between 36 and 49 46 is a number is a number 46 is a number between 36 and 49 36 is a square number we know that 6 into 6 is 36 7 into 7 is 49 but 46 we are not getting any any number we multiply the two numbers we multiply the two numbers and we are not getting the number of 46 so what we understood here is 46 is not a perfect square so what we understood is here only only we multiply the square numbers that is when we multiply the same numbers like a into a is equal to a square will be the perfect square and the remaining numbers what we multiply like a into b is a b is not a perfect square for example for example we take 5 into 5 is 25 is equal to 5 square 25 is called as perfect square and we take any other number and multiply with these two numbers two, num two different numbers are multiplied and we get 20 and 20 is not a perfect square this is not a perfect square and we multiply the same numbers and we get, we get the number that number is called a perfect square so a into a is a square is a perfect square a into b and a b is not is, a, is not a perfect square so we need to find out 1000 is 1024 is a perfect square or not so let's take this 1024 and do prime factorization and we know that we have learned in primary classes that to find out the prime factorization we'll take the prime numbers of 2 3 5 7 11 30 and so on these are the prime numbers we use to find out the prime factorization method let's use the first number as 2 and after 2 table we will cancel in this one 5 times 1 1 and 2 512 times next again this is an even number let's take 2 again and then we will be getting 2 times here and 256 and the next one this is also an even number let's take 2 so 128 and when we take 2 again 64 again 2 we will be getting 32 so 2 again 16 we will be getting 8 and 4 for 4 we will be getting 2 2 times and 2 table 1 time so let's try these all the points here Let's write all the numbers here. What we got is 1024 is equal to 2 into 2, 2 into 2, and 2 into 2, again 2 into 2. So 
from the pairs of members. We got is 2 into 2, 2 into 2, 2 into 2, 2 into 2, and 2 into 2. So here, what we can observe is 2 into 2 is a 4, and 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 2 into 2 is a 4. We know that we have already discussed, and we take any one of the number and multiply the same number, we'll be getting is perfect square. So 2 into 2 is a perfect square also a perfect square and this is a perfect square and all perfect squares and uh, here we got all the perfect square when we multiply the same two perfect squares we will be getting again a perfect square so this is a perfect square so finally we can conclude that 1024 is a perfect square and next one two square and also two square and two square again two square we got all the Two square into two square, two square, two square, and two square. This we got the square numbers for five times. So let's write this square numbers as two into two into two into two into two whole to the power of two. We have taken these all the powers as one power because they are having the same powers. So let's multiply these all the numbers. What we got here that is. 2 into 2, 4, 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16, 16 to the 32. So 32 whole power 2 is equal to 1024. So 1024 we got here is 32 whole square. So when we multiply 32 into 32, we will be getting 1024. So let's recall we have taken prime factorization method for the 1024 using the number prime numbers. We have taken 2 and then after we will continue with the process we got 1024 is equal to 2 into 2 2 into 2, 2 into 2 again 2 into 2 and this is 2 into 2 so we have written all the 2 into 2 as 2 power 2, 2 power 2 and this is for 5 times and these all are having the same power so we retain all multiplication for 1 power we can write by using the formula of a power m into b power m is equal to a into b whole power n. Using this identity, we have written these all the powers as one power on the multiplication. Then we multiply these all the numbers. We got 32. 32 whole square is equal to 1024.